Hey guys, it's me, Steph. Um, let me put my timer real quick. I always do this. What can I say? This is literally my, um, just woke up face or hair, whatever. Um, yeah, I had the weirdest dream, so I felt like recording. Um, basically, I don't remember who I was with because it kept switching around, but we were at a casino, and then inside the casino, we were, like, heading, <sighs> heading to the elevator, and then as we're walking, there's, like, a desk, there's, like, a couple desks of, like, people who were, I don't know if it was, like, meetings or what, but there's, like, people, and then, like, we drove, we went by this desk, and all of a sudden, a lady takes out the gun and says, Give me the cash! And I was like, Oh, fuck. And I just start dropping down. I start laying on the ground, right? And then, I start... With the friend that was next to me, I started to lay down near her. Like, or over her. Kind of like protecting her head or whatever. And then, like, I'm listening to the lady. She's right next to me. And... I tried to be the hero, I guess, because as she turned around, I tried to, like, kick her, but I couldn't kick her enough to flip her with my foot, so she ended up just pointing the gun at me, and I just remember me freaking out and shaking, me and me trying to protect the person that I was with, so I was just over them, like, with my hands. And then I just felt my leg lift, like, because I was laying down. So, like, my right foot was being pulled up, and that gun was getting shoved, like, basically between my legs. Uh, and then, and then that part of my dream stopped. And then I woke up, like, I woke up in real life. I checked the clock, it was like 5.30, and then I went back to bed, and then my dream continued where we were at a friend's house, and I was telling them about my weird dream and what was implied, and then it took a turn to like, asshole guys trying to take advantage when you're drunk, and it's just so stupid, and I woke up mad. Just, yeah, that was annoying to me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound groggy too, because this is my morning voice. It'll, f it'll fade away later, and then I'll sound okay. Um, what else? Yeah, that was my morning. Um, I still have homework to do, so I wanted to just vent before I did it. Um, let's see. Uh, the last post I posted was like when I was at work and, um, oh yeah, we'll start with that day. So Monday was when I, rec was the last time I recorded and I didn't, I posted it late because I didn't have time to post it at all. But basically after I was done vlogging, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to close my eyes. So I put my freaking driver's seat back closed in my eyes. I had work at 6. It was like 5... 5.45. Anyways, um, I put my seat back, knocked out till 6.30. I woke up and was like, what the fuck? And then, and I got to work, but it was cool. Like, they were fine with it, or whatever. Obviously, I'm not gonna make it... Excuse me. Obviously, I'm not gonna make it a habit, but... Yeah, that's what happened. I, like, knocked out. I was like, damn it, next time I need a fucking... I need to have an alarm. Right? Um, what else? Tuesday. Tuesday. What did I do on Tuesday? Tuesday I went home, or I worked. Then after that... I didn't really do much, I think. Or not that I remember. Tuesday, I'm Dude, I don't even know what I did on Tuesday. 
I want to say that was our meeting for Fidelity, but I think that was Wednesday. So, Tuesday, I can't really think of what I did. Um, <laughs> Wednesday, I don't know what I did that day. If that was a Fidelity meeting, I got, like, I ate donuts at work. I got breakfast, and it was delicious. Um, what else? Um, oh, I've been sitting all hunched. So, me and my coworker are trying to work on our posture. So, we're trying to sit straight all the time, but I'm not used to it yet. I kind of just want to get one of those, like, straightener back straps or whatever that purposely make you your shoulders go back even though I know it's gonna hurt because I slouch all the time and I'm not used to it and then uh, what tails yeah so at work we're always going back and forth just Stephanie sit straight RG sit straight like that's that's basically it um Friday was our okay so one of our co-workers is leaving to another department and um, her last day is Monday, which is tomorrow. And um, on Friday, we were trying to figure out, like, you know, let's plan for Monday and so and so and so. And then, like, one of our other co-workers was just like, why not today? And I was like, I don't know. Can't do today. And then it was like, we can do today. So, basically, we were trying to figure out what she likes and... Let's be honest, I'm kind of a weird person anyways, so me asking questions is just like, it's the norm. Like, you wouldn't be surprised, oops, you wouldn't be surprised if I was just like, Mmm, I'm craving ice cream today. What's your favorite ice cream? Or like, mmm, I'm, I'm craving ice cream. And then I'd be like, oh my god, chocolate? I was like, I forgot, like chocolate malted crunch is my favorite. What's your favorite ice cream, Bobby? And I'll just go around the room asking because it's the norm. I'm just the type of person to ask. So, it all started with Bobby talking to my coworker, Myra. And he was just like, ah, oh, I think it was like pizza's good or something. And then he, and then she was just like, was like, yeah. And he was like, what's your favorite pizza place? And she's like, Papa John's. And as I'm hearing this, I'm writing it down. Like, we're trying to be so slick with, like, surprising her. And then, and then he was just like, oh, what's, what's your favorite kind of topping? And she goes, Supreme. So I was like, okay, Papa John's Supreme. And then um, later on, I was just like, do you ever have those, like, days where you just want something? Like you have a go-to dessert all the time or something like that. I forgot. And she was like, yes. And I was like, really? What? And she was like, the cookie ice cream sandwiches from Target. I was like, okay. Wrote those down too. And then, um, and then, um, I was, I forgot what I said. I, I was just like, I want frozen yogurt or I just want ice cream. And then she's like, mmm, ice cream. And then I was just like asking like what she was craving and stuff. And then anyway, when we were done with that, me and, um, me and RG went on our breaks. And then we were just like, okay, this is what we're going to do. So I ordered the pizza, which was supposed to be done in, or which was done in like 15 minutes. So, I dro she drove to Target, I ran out of Target, I got the stuff, I got out. It was like two, three minutes tops. And then we went to Dollar Tree and we got her a congratulations balloon. And then, and we had all these strategies or like, we were just making up jokes like what would happen on the way there. Cause like, the balloon was like, it's on the, it has like the ribbons that aren't, um, that aren't curled yet. So she had scissors, and then in the car I was like, I was doing that thing where it curls. And then, after that, we were, we just kept joking about how like, oh my god, what if it popped, or so and so, and I wonder why she's like not taking her lunch right now. We were trying to think of scenarios that our other coworker was saying to her, and then it was just like, <laughs> we were just like, hey, drink your water. Cause, okay, so our coworker Myra, she never, or like, she brings a water bottle every day, and like we always make fun of her because it's like it's always full. Like the most we have ever seen her water bottle go down was just yesterday at half. And it's like I told her I was like one of these days I want to pour your water out and put it in red cups to see how much 
red cups it fills because ever since I started working there, I've been drinking a lot of water just because um, soda's, ex soda's expensive and also not good for you. There's coffee, but like I try not to drink much of it, but then like water. Water's like our go-to, so we always have like red cups in the, in our um, in the imaging room because of all the water and stuff. Anyways, yeah, so we get back, I clock in, and then we find out, or we put all the stuff to the side, and we just act all like whatever about it, like we just went on lunch or something. And then I went to get plates and napkins, and when we went back, she was gone, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. Like, you know, we wanted to surprise her because we had the pizza, we had the ice cream sandwiches, and then we had, um, we had her balloon. And then she goes, um, our co-worker said she went to lunch, and I was like, dang it! Like, she has to come back. So, I walk over to the lunch, while RG's, like, setting up everything, like, I walk over to the lunchroom, and then I see her. I was like, hey, supervisor wants to talk to you. I don't know what he said, he just said he wanted to talk to you. And she was just like freaking out. Because apparently, before she left for lunch, she already talked to him, but I didn't know that. They were just like, Steph, come up with a reason and go. And I was like, okay. So I was like contemplating on the way walking to her. And then I just told her that our supervisor wanted to talk to her. So basically, right after, when we walked back, I was like, surprise! And then she was like, oh my god, you guys are so... I forgot what she said. She was like, you guys are so slick. And I was like... Yeah, we, we find ways to make it work, and we were just basically working as a team to surprise her. And then we had pizza. It wasn't Papa John's, it was um, Pizza Hut, because Pizza Hut has that um, 10 buck any pizza, so we just got that. We got Supremes of that. And then, yeah, ate, hung out, had a good time, and then we all wore black and white yesterday, or on Friday. So we finally took our group pictures at work. It was funny because we only took one professional photo out of like the plus 20 photos we took. Like there was all these like weird themes that we had. Like our coworker Bobby, I love Bobby, he's the best. Um, he just kept saying like, come on dude, gangster. And then like, okay, this is a scissor obviously, but he had the letter cutter and he'd be like this. <laughs> or the staple remover. And then we took a lot of shots, like, we basically, okay, so there's, like, how many girls and how many guys? So basically, all the girls took, like, shots with, like, all the guys, so each guy was, like, big pin pin and everything. God, it was so fun. I had so much fun. We were just taking a bunch of pictures. And then, after that, uh, my Friday was basically, I came home, I cooked. Um, I made this, like, seasoned chicken, but I over-seasoned it because it was too spicy that I couldn't even enjoy it. And then, um, basically, I, yeah, I just, I just cooked. Oh, sorry. I also caught up on, um, Walking Dead. Oh, my God. God, so much shit's happening. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just saying, if you watch it and you're not caught up, so, so good. So good. Like, I don't, I don't want it to end, but I do want it to end. Like, I want this season to end on good terms. I don't want it to, like, have them keep going and going and going and then, and then it's crap. Because that's going to piss me off. I want it to go out with a good ending, like Breaking Bad. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, so yesterday I yesterday um, I got up early because I had work in the morning. Just seven eleven. It wasn't that bad. Um, work was good. I was just like looking at like a lot of merch that we have at work, and like it's good deals. I like. I want some of it. Not yet, because I don't have money yet, but I want some of it. And then, um, I came home, and then I just did, like, chores, because it was technically an early day off for me, so I was doing chores. Um, I did some laundry, and I thought it was funny, because as soon as I walked into the laundry room, um, I did my 
I washed my clothes and then after that I cleaned Siki, the Siziki. Um, I vacuumed her and I wiped her down with Armor All so she's like shiny and clean on the inside. The outside's still a mess. I need to clean the outside. And then, um, so I did that while I was killing my time in the wash. And then I put my clothes in the dryer and as I'm looking at the instructions, it was like, step one, check dryer for just small children <laughs> small children pets and foreign objects before starting and loading the dryer and I was like oh shit I forgot to check for small children I just thought it was funny just because why would small children okay I understand that some kids can hide in there but I mean it was a top dryer I don't know how they got up there so there's that and then I was a lot, while I was in the dryer, I started walking around Rite Aid, and I found, like, the weirdest things on Rite Aid, or in Rite Aid. So, like, they have, like, hair dryer stuff, or, or they have, like, highlights, highlight color. Basically, it's, like, a spray-on, or whatever. We used to have, okay, back in my day, we had sunning. You spray it all over your hair, you go outside in the sun, and it lightens it. This one, you spray on, and you straighten. And it will lighten your hair with highlights. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I was looking at the as seen on TV aisle. And they had like, they have this blow dryer. So it's like a blow dryer, right? And then there's a cup at the end. Yeah, good example. So it's like a blow dryer and then a cup at the end. And you put it on your hair. And the blow dryer will spin your hair, apparently, to a curl. And it's called air curls. And I was like fuck is this sorcery? Like, what is this? I feel like it would air knot your hair. Like, I don't understand. I remember the Revo Styler and that stupid braid thing where you just take two pieces of hair and you spin it. Well, I did that and it got stuck in my hair. A huge fucking knot. And I was so pissed off. Same with the Revo Styler. It just spun my hair into a big ass knot. And I was annoyed. Um, yeah, so that's the weird things I found in Rite Aid. Um, it's still recording because I'm going to be really sad if it isn't. I feel like it is. Hold on. Oh, oops. Yep, it's recording. What else can I say? Um, so, yeah, last night, um, I did all my chores. And then after that, I was, like, folding laundry, took a shower, got all, you know, clean stuff. And then my roommate was just like, want to go play tennis? I was like, fuck, I just took a shower. I was like, who takes a shower in the middle of the day? And I was like, I do. Because I was doing my hair. Yeah. I, um, I did perps. It'll eventually, like, show better. Right now, it just looks like my hair is dark. Um, yeah, so we were playing tennis. And it doesn't seem like it. And I could be wrong. But it's a workout. It's, like, it's better, okay, it's better if you play two-on-two. Two, but if you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, like, that's a lot of ground to, like, run, hit, and run, and hit, and run. So that was like my workout yesterday. And then I basically, I did my nails. If you can see, I don't know if it's clear, but I did um, Easter, Easter themed nails. And then I watched like the first episode of Drop Dead Diva, which is pretty interesting. And then after that, we had some friends come over and then we went to Tajima and like basically all of us got like everything curry, almost everything curry. I got chicken, there was like three, sorry, there's three curry katsus, one ka chicken katsu curry, then two katsu ramens, and then Chris got some kind of soup. And after that we went to Infinity, and then I got tea and boba, and then we went back to the house and we just chilled and watched like stupid stuff and talk. But like I haven't seen these people in like a while, so it was like really good catching up. And then, yeah, um, I think it's officially, officially all I can say right now. Um, I have, like, homework to do, and then after that, probably take a nap or so, because I work today. Work 12.30 to 8.30, so it's going to be long, and then I'm back to the work grind of the week. So, yeah, um, I'll get back to this soon, and thank you for watching. Okay, bye.